So I recently had a breakthrough with my son, Max, and it's it's a good share because, you know, we spend our summers at the shore and they can be a little lax about their bikes. I finally had a breakthrough. So we're sitting down. I'm like, Max, if you lose another bike and I don't, I'm not calling out Max, Max, I'm calling out all my children, all three. I said, listen, cost me $750 to go replace that bike that you like. How about if I take that same $750 and I buy a vending machine and all of a sudden, the lights went on because I was like, does your bike produce any income? He said, no. I said, will a vending machine produce income? I'm like, it's the same $750, but the $750 that I put into a vending machine is actually going to give you money every single month. When I tell you the light bulbs, he's like, could I do that with an arcade? I'm like, you can do that with an arcade, a laundromat, just so many other places instead of a depreciating asset. Never give up on trying to teach your kids. You know, we. I think the narrative has been... For, for me was save your money, save your money. And now I'm like, invest your money in income producing assets, not depreciating assets. I cannot stress that to them enough because if the wheels fall off or they want to go spend a month in Europe, I need them to have 87,000 vending machines so they can afford to do that or something of the elk of like, you can live the life that you want if you're willing to invest in, in money in the right places and not save your money, but invest your money in income producing assets.